Today we're going to be talking about the changes that I'm seeing to the kickboxing rule set and how it is very concerning to me because I love the sport so much and to me the kickboxing rules are perfection. At least the ones that we saw back in the K1 Max days where you were allowed to initiate a little bit of clinch, you could go for the occasional throw, you could catch some kicks, you could throw back or possibly throw a sweep in if you wanted. Now as I've gone through my career it's gotten a little bit more watered down in my opinion to the point where you're not supposed to throw people, you're not supposed to sweep them and when you catch a kick you only get one shot but this last weekend I was watching a 1FC event and I saw the fighters repeatedly get cautioned for even attempting to catch a front kick for grabbing a round kick and going to throw back so many warnings until one of them ended up getting yellow carded and I think this is so sad and I want to talk about it with you guys today and how this will need or require you to change your training style to adapt to these new kickboxing rules. All right guys, kickboxing, the rule set. We're gonna talk about that first. What were the old rules, what are the new rules? And then I wanna talk in particular about how these new rules are gonna require you to change things up. And of course, we're gonna take a look at some fight footage from this past weekend in 1FC where we saw Rodlek fight Lobo and talk about how ridiculous the yellow cards that they are giving away are. So first off, back in the heyday of K1 Max, they were allowing everything. It was pretty much catch a kick, sweep the guy out, no problem. Catch the kick, throw a punch, sweep him out, no problem. Fall to the clinch, ragged all the guy to the ground, no problem. We would see Bokau endlessly toss people down, they'd have to get back up. And I thought this was a fantastic rule set because it took the brute force of being able to just punch and punch and punch, and then it gave the guys who are a little bit more clever, guys who could figure out how to maybe sweep somebody's leg out, or step backwards, evade, and then come in, flip somebody upside down. It allowed them to pull off all these maneuvers which would require more thought process. But throughout the years, they started limiting these rules, and we saw guys like Bacau have to stand more in front of somebody and bang, as opposed to use a little bit more of the Muay Thai tactics where he was thinking as opposed to battling. And I don't like this so much because through my career there have been massive changes. When I first started, I would train over and over, catch the round kick, throw a sweep, catch the round kick, hit the guy, sweep him out. And we were training this all the time, fall to the clinch, five or six different ways to toss the guy from there. And bit by bit, I wasn't allowed to do these anymore. And unfortunately, I stopped training them. But one of the areas I have not changed, and I was very happy to see it still remain, was if somebody threw a kick, you were allowed to trap it, hold it for a few seconds as you delivered a damaging shot. That makes sense to me. If somebody is throwing an aggressive kick at me, and I have the option of blocking like this and countering back, or catching it, keeping them on one foot, and hitting them, the second option is gonna make them pay so much more, especially at the end, if I can throw them back, have them be off balance, and then go on a further attack. But now, what we saw this past weekend in 1FC was repeated warnings for minor catches, like a little front kick comes and you just put your hand down and catch the heel. Or the round kick comes when you guys are in the little shell and the guy scoops and holds it. He hasn't even delivered a shot yet and they're already getting the warnings. And to me, this is so sad because the kickboxing rule set, as I already mentioned, is just one that I absolutely love. And I don't really understand the reasoning of taking away this ability to catch kicks, except for the fact that it slows the pace down a tiny bit and when you catch and you sweep somebody not the experienced fan but the average fan the person who doesn't really know what they're looking for might have trouble differentiating between a knockdown where somebody gets hit and they drop and one where somebody gets swept and they fall on their back. And I only know this because I've talked to people before and watched fights with people when a throw or a sweep was executed and they go, oh, that's a knockdown. And I'm going, no, it wasn't a knockdown. You didn't damage the guy. The guy just ended up getting thrown. So for the average fan, this difference between the two ways of going down is a little bit unclear. So perhaps the promotions are trying to make things a little bit more upfront for the average fan, trying to bring in more people to enjoy the sport. But in my opinion, it hurts it, it waters it down, and it's just gonna create more damage for the fighters. Because essentially, what you have to do now when you see a kick come, instead of worrying about trapping it or catching it or something like that, you either need to move out of the way 
you need to double arm block or you need to utilize your shin to block the kick. All of those are higher impact than moving with the technique and trapping it and they give you less opportunity to really take advantage of the kick that was thrown and having that skill set of trapping it. So what does this mean for anybody out there who goes, I want to be a kickboxing world champion but I've been working on trapping kicks for the last 10 years and all of a sudden you're telling me I can't do this anymore? Well, first of all, keep in mind, you need to look at the promotion you're with and you need to really dive into what rule set they allow. I have never seen anything as strict as I saw in this Rodlick Lobo fight. But if I was prepping up for a 1FC event right now, I would be going, shoot, I need to change my whole game plan. If somebody throws a round kick, I have to block like this. There's no point in me catching because if I do this three times, they're gonna yellow card me. And essentially that is like taking a knockdown in a fight. And I've already started making changes because in the past, out of a two hour training session, I would spend 30 minutes on clinch. Now I spend zero minutes on clinch because I know it's not gonna come to play and I'm really not supposed to engage in it during the fight. But to me, it's very sad. It is a part of the sport that should be allowed. And the same thing here with these blocks versus traps the traps absolutely should be allowed but yes if you are somebody who is thinking of competing and you recognize that this is not going to be allowed you need to stop worrying about trapping kicks and you need to start getting really good at blocking and firing back blocking and firing back on top of that, you need to start conditioning your forearms. I've always been a big believer in conditioning the thighs. The thighs need to be super strong, but I never worried about the forearms because I went, you know what? Most of the time when somebody kicks, I'm gonna either do this or I'm gonna trap. And when I trap, I don't have to worry about my forearms taking impact. But now, if you're not allowed to trap, all the kicks that are coming are either gonna go off here or off two arms. And you need to make sure that these things are toned up, they're ready to go, and they're super strong. So start getting people in front of you just banging away. Maybe some round kicks on the single arm, banging on the bicep, getting those forearms conditioned. Again, this is not something I'm thrilled about. It's something I'm very disappointed in seeing under the kickboxing rule set. But sometimes we just gotta go with the flow. We wanna be a world champion. We just have to find out what the rules are. We have to train the correct way. And hopefully throughout the years, we will see them revert back to more of those original kickboxing rules that we saw in K1 Max, when the sport, in my opinion, was just perfect. It was in its heyday and it was allowing the fighters to do exactly what they needed to do to make the sport super beautiful. What do you guys think about this rule set? Are you a fan of catching kicks? Or do you think this new rule set that they're imposing is going to be more exciting because the fighters now basically have to take a kick and throw back right away. And if the guy kicks at me again, I have to block and I have to throw back right away. In all fairness, it does make the sport faster paced. It is going to make fighters have to push more. But in my opinion, it would be like telling boxers, you can't slip anymore. You just have to stand there and you have to take punches off the guard. We're not going to allow anybody to move their head. That slows the pace of the fight down too much. This is the, basically the equivalent of that in, kick, in the kickboxing world, in my opinion. But down below, throw your comment there. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, if you thought it was interesting, if this is a subject you like hearing about, please give the video a like. If you haven't already, join the channel and get subscribed. And as always, guys, train hard. I'll see you back here soon for another video.